Now, South Korea's parliamentary election could lead to the emergence of a third party playing the kingmaker. The two major parties have been scaling up their campaigns ahead of the vote and it looks like the race is tightening between the two. Voters in South Korea will vote on Wednesday to elect the 300-member parliament. <laughs> President Yoon suk yeols ruling People Power Party, or PPP as it's known, faces an uphill battle as the majority is now held by the opposition Democratic Party. As a sovereign of democratic country, it's time to judge the Yoon suk yeols administration, which has ruined the country and betrayed the people, holding the Yoon suk yeol administration accountable for it is the beginning of restoring the public of Korea and rebuilding the livelihoods of the people. Earlier this year, as the two main parties focused on the election campaigns, a smaller outfit, the Rebuilding Korea Party, was launched by former Justice Minister Cho Kuk. It could play a potential spoiler to chances of either of the two major parties securing a majority. It's quite plausible to see the voters who became fed up with the major two parties now supporting Sho Cook's The Rebuilding Korea Party as a third option. If Sho's party gains a significant number of votes in this parliamentary election, it indicates that there are many voters who have a grievance and distrust towards the major two parties. Rebuilding Korea Party is aiming for just 10 seats. But as opinion polls show that the election is too close to call, these seats may be enough to prevent either of the two main parties winning an outright majority. Nacho's party is seen by pollsters as the only minor group to get 10 or more seats in the assembly. According to an analysis released on March 26th by the Yonhap News Agency, the PPP should win at least 110 of the 254 seats. The DP is expected to get 82 seats. All eyes on voting day and the results to follow. <laughs> For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.